In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure the Windows Hello for Business. Well, don't forget we have the Windows Hello and the Windows Hello for Business. So this is actually going to be focused on Windows Hello for Business. Well, to configure it, what you need to do, you need to go to Devices, and here we have Enrollment. And in Enrollment, you can see we have the Windows Hello for Business. But first of all, what is actually the Windows Hello for Business? Well, if you have been using your Windows client operating system, you don't work for a company, you have your own personal device. There is what we call the Windows Hello. So according to Microsoft, Windows Hello is an authentication technology that allows users to sign in to their Windows devices using biometric data or PIN instead of a traditional password. So it provides an enhanced security, security which gives a kind of a more resistant to two-factor authentication and a built-in brute force protection. Well, the Windows Hello for Business is an extension of the Windows Hello, which you use on a regular device, but this actually provides an, so a, a kind of a sort enterprise-grade security and management capabilities, which include device attestation, certificate-based authentication, and also conditional access policy. So I just want to show you how to actually configure it using Microsoft Intune. Well, you still need to actually deploy it to your devices and make sure that your users are actually forced using policies to are actually forced to use the Windows Hello for Business and any device that or any user that does not use the Windows Hello for Business, that device may be marked as non-compliant. So what you need to do is to go to Windows Hello for Business and here you can see at this moment it is not configured. So here you can say you can say configure Windows Hello for Business. Then we're going to say enabled. And now we can say we have the different options. So well, you want to say is use a trusted platform model. I'm not going you can also say required, but I'm going to put, put this as preferred. And for the minimum length for pin, you can see we have six. But the minimum is actually, you can see, it's between 4 and 127. So here we can say the maximum, I can just put 20. And lowercase letters, you can see we have different options. We can say, well, I want to actually allow it. And uppercase as well, I want to also allow. Which means they will be forced to use the lowercase and uppercase. But you can also disable this, which, for example, they can just use just numbers and again we have the pin expiration uh, expiration days we can use here you can say it's never but you can actually enter a day and say well i want to put it for 90 days that the user will be forced to actually change their pin and then we have remember pin history i can actually put like five so that the users should not use the same pin all the time and you can see it says allow biometric authentication. Of course, you want to configure it to yes, and then use enhance anti-spoofing. Well, I just I, I'm going to leave this to not not configured. Allow allow phone sign in. We can just can say no. Well, we can say yes. And here you can see we have the en enable enhance signing security. And I can just say well, let me use the enhanced signing security will be enabled on system with capable capable hardware. Well, remember not. All had all devices have this feature, so I'm just going to leave that for not configured and use security keys for signing. Also, I'm going to leave that for not configured, and then I will click save. Here you can see it's been it has been saved. But next, in a different video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually implement it to your devices, to your company, and make sure that every single user in your company is being forced to all users are being forced to actually use Windows Hello for Business. And if they don't use it, those devices that are not configured with Hello for Business will be marked as non-compliant.